Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for my graduation. So a lot of you know that I graduated high school already. Um, where I live, instead of having the graduation ceremony right as you finish high school, because I finish in June, we do it in October and I'm not really sure why, it's kind of annoying, but it is what it is and I decided to film me getting ready for it. So I haven't started anything yet, obviously I have no makeup on, I haven't done my hair, but um, I have all of my products here and I'm going to show you exactly what I use and how I use it to get ready for this. So first I started off by kind of cleansing my skin with the Thayer's um, Rose Petal Witch Hazel and this is just like a toner type product and then I put on my CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. Now I'm just going to go ahead and clip my hair back and I will get started with the makeup. Okay, so I started out the foundation process by applying Maybelline Dream Brush BB Cream. I just put this on with the e.l.f. stipple brush. It has a nice light coverage that's still quite natural and it actually photographs pretty well even though it does have SPF in it. So I just applied that all over my face just to even it out a little bit. Then I followed that up with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This concealer is actually pretty moisturizing so I can put it on blemishes and underneath my eyes and it's also pretty great coverage for a drugstore concealer. So after I applied that to the skin using the wand, I just blended it out with my Bare Minerals concealer brush. To set this makeup, I used the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation and I just dusted this all over my face. This adds an extra layer of coverage but it also helps the makeup to stay on for longer. that needed some extra coverage, I used this pointed concealer brush with the Bare Minerals again and added an extra layer just to conceal any redness and make sure that my skin looks a little bit more flawless for pictures. Now I'm using Benefit's Hula Bronzer to contour my face. I'm putting this underneath my cheekbones with a really nice fishy face, blending that in and I also put some along my temples. all-time favorite blush from Benefit which is Coralista. This acts as both a blush and a highlighter because it has a lot of gold shimmer in it but it still looks really good in photos as well. So I just put this on the apples of my cheeks and blended it back into the bronzer and after I put this on with the angled brush I blended it out with my powder brush to make it look more natural. For brows I use my NYX eyebrow gel. This is waterproof and it lasts a really long time so I just put that on with an angled eyeliner brush and blended that through. To set the brow gel, I use the Milani Brow Shaping Wax. This just helps keep everything in place and it really seals down the brow look. for shadow, I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, just applying a light layer of this all over my lids. The first shadow I'm using is from MAC and it's called Era. It's a satin finish light brown shade and I'm just applying this all over my eyelids. On top of that, I decided to brighten up a little bit more with MAC's Floof, which is a pearly colored eyeshadow. So after I put this on my lids, I moved on to the crease color and I used all matte crease colors today. Um, the ones I used are actually from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and I used Naked 2 first on a MAC 217 brush, just blended that through my crease. Next, to deepen up the crease a little bit more, I used Faint, which is a slightly darker matte brown, and just applied that to the outer corner and the outer crease. 
highlight my brow bone, I just use the same shade I used at the beginning on the lid, which is Floof from MAC once again. And then I'm combining Naked 2 and Faint on an angle brush and just applying that to my lower lash line for a little bit of definition. On my upper lash line, I'm using Crave from the Naked Basics palette, which is just a matte black shadow, and I'm using that on an angled liner brush and just blending that into my lash line. I'm trying to keep it as thin as possible, but I also kind of like the soft look that a powder has as opposed to a liquid, which can sometimes be a little bit more harsh. And next, I'm just going to curl my lashes to prep them for mascara. camera died for the second time while filming this video um, I didn't realize I wasn't recording and I went ahead and put on my physician's formula organic wear mascara just the pink one um, I think it's called fake out and then I put on some half lashes which feel really really weird right now because I don't usually wear eyelashes fake eyelashes but um, yeah they just feel super heavy on my eyes right now so that is what I did while the camera was off, and now that I am back, I'm going to go ahead and finish off the look with lips. So I'm going to line my lips with my favorite and the only lip liner I own, which is from Sonia Kashuk. It's in the color Natural, and it's number 20. So as you can see, I'm just lightly feathering this lip liner in around my lips and keeping it very light and natural. Um, I just like to do this to make the lip line look a little bit more crisp. Okay, so just like that, very natural. Okay, so that is the finished makeup look. I'm going to go ahead and curl my hair right now. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to include it in the video just because I did a curled hair tutorial um, about a week ago and it's exactly how I'm about to do my hair right now. So I will link that in the description bar down below if you want to check it out and I will come back when I am completely ready to go.